It is said that Jiang Kung comes from the words Jiang, which means finished or finished, and Kung, which means to approach. So, literally, Jiang Kung means something that has been completed and is coming to us. It is said that this game originates from the royal era, where a royal princess died tragically. To entertain the princess's spirit, the servants made dolls from woven coconut leaves and played with them at night. Jilangkung is a traditional game from Indonesia that involves the use of dolls or statues that are used to summon spirits or spirits. This game is believed to originate from Batawi culture in Jakarta, but has spread to various regions in Indonesia. Jilangkung is usually played by a group of people, and in this game, dolls or statues are thought to be inhabited by summoned spirits or spirits. This game has a long history and is part of the mystical beliefs and traditions of Indonesia. The doll is believed to be inhabited by a princess spirit, and servants will chat and interact with the doll. However, as time goes by, the game becomes more complex and more sinister. Woven coconut dolls were replaced by small statues made of wood or other materials, and the way of summoning spirits became more ritualistic. Jilangkung has obscure origins and is difficult to trace with certainty. However, many believe that this game originates from Batawi culture in Jakarta, Indonesia. There are several versions of the story that describe the origins of Jilangkung. 1. Royal Version One version states that Jilangkung originates from the royal era where a princess died tragically. To entertain the princess's spirit, the servants made dolls from woven coconut leaves and played with them at night. The doll is believed to be inhabited by a princess spirit, and servants will chat and interact with the doll. 2. Child Abduction Version Another version says that Jilangkung was originally used by criminals to kidnap children. They will use Jilangkung dolls or statues to attract children's attention, then kidnap them while they are distracted. 3. Traditional game version. There are also those who think that Jilangkung was originally just a traditional game played for entertainment only. However, as time goes by, this game becomes more complex and has supernatural elements that make it scary. Even though there are various versions of the origins of Jilangkung, what is certain is that this game has become an important part of mystical culture and traditions in Indonesia. However, as time goes by, the Jilangkung game becomes more complex and has supernatural elements that make it scary. The woven coconut dolls were replaced with small statues made of wood or other materials which were considered to be the dwelling place for the summoned spirits or spirits. The way to summon spirits has become more ritualistic, involving special spells and certain processions. Apart from that, there is also a version of the origin of Jilangkung, which is related to mystical practices or animist beliefs in traditional Indonesian society. Some versions say that Jilangkung was originally used by criminals or shamans to seek information from spirits or spirits, or even for evil purposes such as kidnapping children. Although the origins of Jilangkung are still a mystery, this game remains an important part of mystical culture and traditions in Indonesia. Even though many see it as a scary or even dangerous game, Jilangkung is also considered a cultural heritage that needs to be preserved and its cultural and historical values understood.